Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add payment icons under Add to Cart button on Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to log in into our account at Shopify.com. And once we've done that, the next thing that we need to do here is we first have to view our online store. So in this case, go to the online section here, go ahead and press on your view or your online store here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to a very specific section on our products. Because in this case, let's go ahead and click on our product here. And as you can see at the very bottom, we should be able to see the payment icons here that we want to add to our shop. Now to do that, first thing that we need to do here is we need to edit a few code, but don't worry, this one is pretty easy. You don't have to scroll or look on very big codes here. I'm going to show it, uh, show it to you how to do it visually. Now in this case, what we need to do is we first have to inspect our web page. So right click on your empty space here and you want to click on inspect. And under inspect, you want to go ahead and click on the arrow section here at the top left of the section. By the way, I'm using Google Chrome, so it's a lot easier for me. So in this case, let's go ahead and hover on this section here. As you can see, it's going to be highlighted. So what we need to do here is we need to click on that section. Now, what we need to do next is we want to expand this section here because we don't want to include the footer column footer column info here. So next, we want to highlight this one. So you can go ahead and expand it again. And as you can see, we'll be able to highlight the UL class section. Now, in this case, since this is the section that we want to copy, because as you can see, these are the items being uh, shown here. As you can see, when I hover over them, these are the items. Now, in this case, when I hover this one, it's going to select all those items. And what we need to do is we need to right click on the UL section here and we want to copy and choose copy element. Now, once you've done that, we are now ready to add this into our web. So in this case, let's go back to my store here and we want to go to online store and open up the teams section. Now, under teams, we want to go ahead and click on customize here next to our team here. And it's going to load up the customization for our store. Now, in this case, we want to change this to a product page. So go ahead and click on the home page at the top section here. You want to go to products and you want to select the default product. Now, in this case, it's going to give us an overview of what's going to look like. So for this example, we want to add this just below the buy it now section. So let's go ahead and go to the section here. So you want to maybe highlight this one. As you can see, this is the buy buttons. So you want to add a new block. So go ahead, click on add block. And from here, choose the option for custom liquid. Also, by the way, you might need to uh, have a plan for this one. But the good thing about um, Shopify here, they actually offer a $1 per month. So if you want to try it, you could go ahead. So in this example, we already added our custom liquid here and we need to paste our code here in the liquid code at the right section or right tab here. Let's go ahead and paste it. And from here, let's go ahead and select outside those boxes. And as you can see, we were able to immediately add it in here. Now, in this case, if you want to reposition your section here, you could go ahead and just drag it just above the share here if you want. And from here, just above it, again, if you want it as well. But yeah, so that's actually about it. So if you want to add more effects into it, like for example, if you want to center this one, you could go ahead and add very small snippets into it. But in generally how to do this, uh, this is how you do it. So it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy. Yeah, so that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.